Hey guys, Skimby Chooch here, back with another video, but this one's going to be a little bit of a different one. Today we got the Keynoter Toten Easter Egg Song Speedrun Tutorial. Uh, this is something that I've been wanting to make for a long time. Uh, I remember when I got into the speedrunning game for Black Ops 2 Zombies, uh, I didn't really have anything like this. I didn't know where the information was at, so this information is for you all. For anyone that wants to speedrun this game, for anyone that is speedrunning and wants some more information on so the strats you need to do or the routes you need to take, this is for you all. So I hope you all can learn a lot from this. First of all, for the Easter Egg Song speedrun of any map, not just King Under Toten, you need to know the amount of points that you need to open all the doors, and you also need to know the routes to take. So for Keynote or Toten, you need a total of 5,550 points minimum um, to get all the doors open. If you were looking forward to speedrunning this map, then you're going to want to have it all by the end of round 3. I have or 3,750 in parentheses. Uh, that is depending on what route you take, but we'll talk about the routes here in a little bit. Uh, to get 5,500 points by the end of round three, you need a double points drop. Since there is no way to get that many points by the end of round three, it is impossible unless you have a double points drop. And then the insta kill or nuke or the kaboom power up. Um, those are just for speedrunning, um, since obviously if you get insta kill, you can kill zombies faster. And if you get a double points nuke, that's 800 free points in your pocket. So uh, if you're looking to take out on the world record, then those are going to be the ones you also need on top of the double points. And there's also two main routes. There's an outside round three route and a spawn room round three route. Now we'll talk about uh, both of those here in a little bit, but uh, those are up to personal preference. They both have the capability of getting the world record, but uh, like I said, we'll talk about those in a little bit. Now, um, if you know anything about Black Ops Zombies, you know that if you want to play the Easter Egg song, you gotta activate three of something. Whether it be teddy bears, whether it be beer bottles in the case of Mob of the Dead in Black Ops 2, or rocks in this case. So in uh, Keynote or Toten, this is the spawn room right here. The first rock's gonna be found by this barrier that we'll be sitting by for rounds one and two. So we can go ahead and get that. And then this is where the other two rocks are. Uh, the route that I'm going to be running here is the inside route uh, for if you're going to be uh, doing the spawn room route. Um, you're going to want to run this since it is faster than going the other way. Uh, but the second rock is right in here inside the dressing room. It's going to be right in this corner beside these mannequins. And then the last one is just going to be across the theater into the staircase. And it, it should be right in here in this little cubby on the shelf with all the letters. And obviously when I press it, the song will start playing. Now for each of the routes, the round one and two strat are going to be exactly the same. So once you load in, you're going to want to run over to this stone. Go ahead and activate it so you don't forget it. And then you're going to want to sit by this barrier and wait around the 11 second mark. I don't have my live split timer up right now, but it should be around now. And then as soon as you throw that nade, you're going to want to run over and throw it in this little corner by the glass. So you'll not only get any zombies that come out, but anyone that are, uh, are like back here where the spawner is. And then you're going to want to run to the other barriers. Knife the zombies that are there, obviously use ammo, and then you rinse and repeat for round two. Uh, for the timing on the this first nade for round two, I like doing it 20 seconds after the end of the first round. I don't have my life split up right now, but basically I have it track when my round one ends, and then as soon as it ends, uh, I wait until 20 seconds, and then I throw this nade, throw that nade, and then do it all again. And then after this round is when the routes will start to change. So first, we have the outside route. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a situation where it is the end of round two, as it would be in the normal speed run. And so what I'm going to do is you're going to kill the last zombie, and then you're immediately going to start running into the fire trap room, and then into the alleyway. And then I like to stand in this spot right here and angle it to where I can see on top of this building and this barrier, because zombies can spawn in both of those. And it is obviously best if they start spawning here because you're right next to the door to go ahead and start your run for the rocks. Uh, we only got a couple zombies this time. 
we got a few here. So if this was a speed run, I would let it let them break down the barrier, farm up some points, hopefully be a double points, and then you can go on through this door. Now I do want to uh, point out something. There are only three zombies that I've seen so far. Four if you include the ones that I've killed, and I found out. I don't know how common knowledge, but if you stand in this room, zombies will only spawn in this room and in this room. And so if you're not getting any luck here, run over to this room and we have a clump of two and then a clump of four zombies. If you don't get any zombies on your side while standing there watching the roof in the barrier, without a doubt they're going to be in that room. They can't spawn in the spawn room because I think you're too far away, but... By the time you run over there, the barrier should be destroyed. They'll all come out, and then you can get a bunch of stacks, which is when you shoot zombies on top of each other, so one bullet for double points. And they'll also be out of the barrier, so then you can hopefully get a double points and to kill kaboom, whatever you need. And now for the spawn room route. Like I said earlier, both the routes have potential to get the world record, so it's just up to personal preference, which one you like. Um, but here I'm in the exact same scenario I was just in. It's the end of round two. You kill the zombie... And then you stay in the spawn room. The main purpose of doing this is uh, hoping that you can get lucky with some spawns. Because if they come out this way and they come out this way, it's going to take a while. So I already have this uh, barrier opened up. This one isn't opened up, but this is the ideal one. But since I have this one opened up, I'm just going to sit close to this one. And as the zombies start spawning, you want to make sure they can hop out the window so you have a chance to get a power up. And basically from here you farm until you have 5,500 points. And then as soon as you get done, you run, open this door, and start the run all the way around to get all the rocks. And hopefully you'll get a world record with that run. Now for the timer, these are the splits that I like to use. I like having a round one split, a round two split, and then the song, whatever, you know, what the name of the song is. I like having that as the final split. For the split here for Keynote or Toten, I like having the amount of points that you need for uh, the respective route. So if you're doing the outside route, you're going to want 3,750, and if you're using the spawn room route, you're going to want 5,500. That just helps you keep track of what route you're doing and how many points you need. And then I just have my splits compared to the world record at the time, so that's why they're different. But overall, it's basically the same thing. You can do the split however you want. You obviously don't even need splits. You just need a timer. But if you like keeping track of the splits, this is what I like to do. Now, in the videos, you probably saw me doing some strafe jumps and some different movement things. And uh, if you're confused by that, uh, don't feel bad because I was the exact same way. Uh, I never understood movement or anything like that uh, until I saw this video by Zydo, who's an amazing Call of Duty Zombies and Campaign speedrunner. Um, this video goes over the Black Ops 1 movement. It goes over all the different kinds of movement that you can find to help speed up your times and increase uh, the world record. Um, this video has so much information packed into it, and I'm going to have it down in the description. I think if you are speedrunning any Call of Duty game, this is a video that you need to watch. So, um, if y'all are interested, go click down in the description below, show some love to Zydo, and learn a few things. But other than that, that's the end. I uh, hope you all enjoy, and I hope you all are... Uh, enjoying this kind of content. This is something new for my channel, so I don't know how it'll sit, but hopefully I can make some more in the future because I do enjoy spreading this information, and hopefully we can do some more maps in the future. So I appreciate you all. Uh, in the description, I'll also have two more videos along with a Zydo video. I'll have the current world record, which is uh, the one that I did using the outside route, and I'll also have the former world record, which is second place on the leaderboard right now, which uses the spawn room route. Both of the routes, like I said, are capable of getting world records. It's just personal preference. But with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and good luck out there. Peace.